is uh, from the Nation magazine, uh, written by Ari Hunavar. Uh, according to immigrant rights advocates, a six-year-old girl separated from her mother under the Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy was sexually abused while at an Arizona detention facility run by Southwest Key Programs. The child was then made to sign a form. The six-year-old child was then made to sign a form acknowledging that she was told to maintain her distance from her alleged abuser, who is an older child being held at the same detention facility. So there is an older uh, child, maybe they're, I don't know, 9, 10, 15, who knows, who is sexually abusing this six-year-old girl, and the way they dealt with it was to make her sign a form saying, uh, you've been told to stay away from them. Um, this is a couple, or I should say the mother, uh, entered with her child. They were fleeing gang violence, uh, in Guatemala. They entered a point of entry. That's what we hear all the time. They got to go to a point of entry where they presented the border patrol authorities with paperwork claiming they had credible fear that returning to Guatemala would result in harm. Two days later, they were, they, they kidnapped the girl. I mean, there's no other way to talk about this. They kidnapped the girl. You have the legal right to come and seek asylum in this country. Um, before the, uh, the girl was kidnapped, the mother provided authorities with the number of the girl's father, who is an undocumented immigrant living in California, on June 11th, the father received a phone call from Southwest Key explaining that a boy had fondled his daughter and other girls. Um, I mean, this is, I, 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 I'm sure this is one of many cases that is taking place. There's also been cases and, of, 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 litter, of guards doing it. And, and we still uh, have so many of these kids uh, kidnapped and lost in the system and parents who have been deported kids here. We're going to, there's just no doubt about it. We kidnap kids who will basically be shuttled off to different families through, uh, frankly, some uh, Christian adoption agencies if they're, you know, or they'll end up in foster uh, care in some fashion and they won't see their parents. Maybe for maybe forever, maybe uh, for a decade, maybe for a, a year, maybe more. We just don't know. Uh, but the idea that there won't be uh, and, and there won't be just one. There's going to be. A dozen, two dozen, maybe 50. Maybe 100. Uh, this is just uh, it's just. Unbelievable. And, and here is um, the former ICE director, Thomas Homan, who um, I don't know when this guy was the, uh, the acting director of U.S. Immigration and Customs, but um, does it, he just left. Um, you know, there's something fundamentally wrong with ICE. It is a, just a, an entity that has just a culture that is just wrong. You know, I was talking to, uh, whenever I take any of those like a uh, Lyft or, uh, or Juno, I ask them about, uh, Uber and universally Uber is panned and it, it's because the, they were established with this sort of like horrible corporate culture and it continues regardless of who they get rid of. And when you have an entity like this, you got to get rid of them. Some of their functions can go to existing uh, agencies. Maybe you got to set up a slightly different agency or a different chain of command, or you got to put it under the auspices of a different uh, entity, give them different responsibilities. But this is just disgusting. Let, let, we'll watch this uh, frontline PBS Interview, Martin Smith, uh, Tom, uh, Thomas Homan. When you heard the tape uh, the ProPublica published of the children wailing, what was your reaction? I didn't hear the tape. Oh, come on. I did not hear the tape. 
I've heard many children cry in my 34 years. I don't need to hear children cry. Can I play it for you? Yeah. It's a young girl who asks to call her aunt. She wants to call her aunt. She has the number memorized. How can you not condemn that? Look, I, I've seen a lot of terrible things in my 34 years. Well, we have to address the border. I mean... Do you not sympathize with the... Oh, absolutely. Situation? I'm a parent. I, I, it's, it's, it's sad, but when the government chooses to enforce the law and they separate the parents that's been prosecuted, just like every U.S. citizen person in this country gets separated when he gets arrested, but people want a different set of rules when they illegal alien. Yeah. The only problem with that is that the story I just told you about was someone who followed every single statutory protocol that we have. You come in, you seek asylum. That is a perfectly legal entry into this country. Just because you choose to prosecute them or separate them doesn't change that fact. That guy, man, sociopath.